Hello, I hope those are watching right now this tutorial doing great. In this video, sodium extraction process will be discussed. And this is the third tutorial of the chapter metal extraction because in the first tutorial I explained the steps of metal extraction and in the second tutorial I explained how the aluminium will be extracted. So there are some different process because there are some different properties of different metals. So in this the video, sodium extraction will be discussed which is done by the Downs process. It is known as Downs process and this is Downs cell. So sodium chloride is a mineral that is extracted. Uh, so we know that the melting point of sodium chloride is 801 degrees Celsius. So the minerals of sodium is available is sodium chloride. So we need to extract sodium metal from these minerals. But you know that uh, this high temperature producing is a very costly. So as a, this is an industrial effort, so the each and every moment uh, uh, this is should be it should be a profitable business. So here uh, lowering the high temperature is important. So for lowering this temperature, what is done? And sodium chloride is mixed with calcium chloride. And you know that usually sodium chloride is given as 40%, 40 to 42%, and this is a 58 to 60%. When this mixed up is there, I mean, you know that this is 2 to 3 proportion. So the mix up temperature is lower to 600 degrees Celsius. So now this is feasible comparatively to produce 801 degrees Celsius to 600 degrees Celsius. Now, what is going on in this town's cell? So this is iron box, an iron box with the fire bricks. So in this iron box, a carbon rod is projected upwards from the bottom of the box and this will work as a node. So this will work as a node, this is very important. The, the carbon rod which is projected upward from the bottom of, of the down cell will work as anode. And in both sides there is an iron rod, iron covered with an air, uh, it's, it's working as a cathode. So this will work as cathode. So what's going on when the electrolysis is going on? So you know that sodium chloride and calcium chloride mixture is poured within these solutions and this is molten. So we are, we are, we are extracting sodium from molten sodium chloride. So it is being is heated to 600 degrees Celsius. So it's pouring here and then when after electrolysis, what is the reaction is going on? You know that sodium chloride will be dissociated with sodium plus and chlorine minus. So in cathode, I mean in this iron, what's going on? In cathode reaction, in cathode reaction, sodium will accept one electron. So sodium will accept electron to produce sodium. And this sodium is a very light. I mean, uh, the specific density of sodium is nearly 0.97, which is less than one. So it will float from the molten sodium chloride and then it will store through this process here and it is kept under the petrol or kerosene because this is highly reactive metal and it can react with oxygen immediately. So that is why after the extraction it is kept under a liquid like petroleum and kerosene so it will be safe. So sodium is lighter that is why it will be floated and then it will be stored there. So what will be going on in anode? In anode you see that chloride so chloride will release one electron so it's not stable so usually what will be on one chlorine will add another chlorine to produce 
chlorine gas and chlorine gas will be escaped through this funnel from the Down's process from the Down cell and it can be escaped so that is why it's a byproduct so this Down cell is working uh, to extract sodium so very simply we know the melting point of sodium chloride is 801 degrees Celsius and this producing heat is very costly so that is why we are mixing calcium chloride in 2 is to 3 proportion so sodium chloride would be 40 percent calcium chloride would be 60 percent and then the mixture temperature melting point uh, lowers to 600 degrees Celsius which is comparatively profitable so then when molten chlor sodium chloride and calcium chloride is poured here after electrolysis you see that this carbon rod will work as anode so anode will attract anion so in these uh, molten solutions chloride is the only anions are there so it will accept it will release the electron here and then it will be a gas so as a byproduct it will move outside of the down cell and in cathode which is working as an this iron rod, iron rod is working as cathode and these ions, I mean this cathode will, will attract the cations, the cations will accept the electron to produce sodium as a metal and this sodium is, is actually kept under the petrol or kerosene is because sodium is really reactive metal that can react with oxygen or air immediately. So this is a very simple process, a sodium extraction, because I have uh, said earlier that I will explain a different uh, metal extraction in a different way. In the next video, I'm coming up with iron extraction with blast furnace and some series of reaction, which is very important for your exam. And students, those are watching this video, let me know that is it really beneficial for you or you have any recommendations and comments. Put in the comment sections. I shall definitely answer your questions. So take care. See you on the next video.